Hi, I'm Surya. And I'm Renu. From Bonito Designs. So we are here today at Mr. Nenoop's house. In Salapura Greenwich. That's in Bomnali. Uh, and we are going to give you a sneak peek at this beautiful place. Here we go. drawers and shutters below for the shoe for the shoes and this is a wallpaper that has a very good pattern on it to highlight this we have spotlights on top on the rafter we have a hanging there and a beautiful picture of Ganesha here so this whole place looks very classy very composed and very ethnic so as we enter the living area we have an entrance paneling here that we have done in the darker laminate to contrast the walls and it adds the composed look to the fire. With the living room over here and what we see here is the TV cabinet. Uh, the whole thing is being given a beautiful white high glossy laminate colour which gives a very uh, elegant look to the whole thing. Down here we have the storage which has a tinted glass inside which the centre box can go. So it can be accessed from the outside but still it remains concealed. The skirting in the bottom continues to have your UFO placement and stuff and on top we have the uh, upper level cabinets and the G profile which adds to the elegance of the whole thing. And right below that we have two ledges for the artifact storage and the whole thing gives a very silent but a beautiful grand look. One of the most simple and significant part of this room is the fall ceiling. The fall ceiling being very minimalistic, elegant and with ample lighting gives one of the most emphasized feature of this room. The partition here adds a different dimension to this place. Though it, it looks very simple and very elegant, it adds to a very classic touch, not completely blocking the view or the light or ventilation, but still serving its purpose to the best extent. We are in the kitchen now. We have used a red and white colour laminate in the whole of the kitchen. This is an L-shaped kitchen, so we have the sink here, the hob here and the refrigerator there. We have also used G-Profile in the hall of the kitchen to give it that neat finished look. So uh, under the sink we have the dustbin and the detergent holder, we have tandem boxes here, the bottle pull-out, cutlery unit, tandem boxes, tandem boxes, tea tray and storage there. So here we have the chimney uh, on top, we have the chimney pata going on top that is to conceal the chimney dumping. And uh, on either sides of the chimney, we have the overhead storage with frosted glass, again going with the G profile. So the frosted glass does not really look out of the place here, it kind of uh, camouflages with the white and red theme of the kitchen. And on this side, we have the display uh, units for the glasses. We have a tall unit here that has the microwave provision inside. So here on top, we have the loft. And on this side, we have the breakfast counter. So this is a very beautiful ledge, a granite ledge. We have used uh, SS uh, uh, rods over here. And this is again a counter with the storage below. Here we are in the guest bedroom of the house. What you see over here is a complete flow of pleasant colors around here of a mixture of white and a shade of brown. Over here on the wardrobe, we have white and a shade of brown. In between, we have an aluminum strip that gives a beautiful color blend right there. And on this side we have wallpaper which is matching almost a similar shade of colours and a cot right below that and there we see a flow of theme happening from one wall to the adjacent wall in a very amazing way. Here in the other corner of the room we have a dressing table with a full length mirror. The colours are just like flowing the same way it did in the wardrobe and here we have a curtain which is again a similar shade of the whole thing. So we are looking at the complete uh, theme flowing down including the curtain, the dressing table and the furniture that's around here. We are here at the kids' bedroom. We have the color combination of olive green and white that we have used here. So these two color combinations give you a very pleasant and yet a very funky look. On this side, we have the study table with uh, bottom cabinets. So as the part of the overhead cabinets, we have open storages and closed storages. Moving on to this side, we have a dresser with a very wide mirror. The bottom cabinets of this dresser is at a seater height and it has drawers below as a part of the storage. 
and on this side we have a queen size bed with storage below we have a side table on only one side of the bed with two drawers as the storage so the headboard of this cot continues very interestingly and asymmetrically towards the other side of the bed so as the display unit we have used pigeon holes and you can also see that we have matched the wallpaper and the curtain to the theme of this uh, room so on this side we have a slider wardrobe that has a, a spider-man <laughs> on it the digital laminate and on top we have the loft here we are in the master bedroom of the house on this side we have a slider wardrobe which has a beautiful color pattern of solid white color and a wood pattern color in between which we have uh, strips of aluminium running over there which forms the conjunction between those two uh, different fa factors of colors on this side we have the uh, king size cot of course and with the side tables the side table has storage in the bottom and a ledge on top which gives a complete contemporary and uh, elegant look right behind which we have this uh, beautiful looking uh, 3d kind of a wallpaper which goes well with the theme of the whole space on this side Moving on to the other side, we have the dresser unit, which is like a the same color combination flowing over here with a solid white and a uh, textured brown. And on this side, we have a very minimalistic looking uh, workstation, which definitely serves its purpose. And also, it does not block too much of space, thus giving the entire space management factor of the whole thing. So here we are with uh, Mr. Renup and his wife, Mrs. Kartika. Uh, so, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, so Welcome to your new house. And oh, thank you so much. So, so uh, how did you get to know about Bonito Designs? Uh, Bonito, first of all, and I got the reference to uh, through Salar Korea. That was one, and also I have seen a lot of uh, your videos. Uh, so I was uh, quite excited by seeing the videos. So I thought, and I will give it a try. Okay, that's great. Uh, and uh, when you stepped into Bonito, did you have any expectations regarding what you wanted? Yes, of course. You know, we had a lot of expectations on our house. Uh, you know, we had a lot of things in our mind. Uh, so right from the material specifications till the design everything you know we had a lot of expectations in our mind uh, so we got a feeling that you know Bonito would be able to fulfill our requirements by seeing your projects so that's the reason we thought we will uh, definitely go with uh, Bonito that's great that's great uh, so sir so you have sh uh, shown the designs on the laptop on the software right. so compared to that and what you finally see how do you rate that I think uh, it is looking much much better i mean uh, so i mean when we uh, saw the 3d design we liked the 3d design still 3d design that's the reason you know we went with it but still you know when i see the house right now after completion i feel it has come out really well and it is looking much much better but uh, they had done an imaging right? that is oh that is a rendering image okay yeah exactly yeah. So very similar to yeah exactly time. rendering image in, in fact you know we uh, we got the rendering image done for most of the rooms here uh, so we were looking at the rendering image for the kids bedroom and uh, you know what we you feel see? you know it is 95 percent the same Wow. Yeah, ninety-five okay. percent same. I can even you know share with you the snap, so you will also you know be surprised because you know it is looking almost ninety-five percent same. So it does come out really well. That's brilliant. Uh, and in terms of project management, right. how would you uh, rate your experience over there? Uh, you mean the project management, project management. the site or overall project? Overall, management? overall the coordination, uh, the communication, giving you updates, the whole thing. Okay, there was a little miscommunication here and there. But then you know, I feel, uh, I feel you know, I mean, I, as you know, like what they, especially when we go for an interior designing company, we have to go through different phases. Like uh, we will start with the design phase, then we will go for a production phase, then uh, you know, finally there will be an execution phase, right? So there are a lot of phases involved in the interior design. Uh, so uh, for every phase, you know, we had a different contact. For example, for design phase, our contact was Pooja, and uh, for the production, I think it was Kiran and then uh, execution it was murli right so we had uh, different contacts uh, so i felt you know there was a bit of miscommunication s somewhere but you know that is quite usual i i mean i cannot blame that because you know we I mean, we were also changing few things from our end because initially we came up with the requirement and after that you know uh, we also felt you know few things have to be changed so that's when we started approaching Pooja, Murli and all those people, right? So uh, there were a few things that we were also changing because of which you know, there was a little miscommunication but then still end of the day it has come up really well because uh, you know uh, the good thing about Bonito is that whenever I come up with a requirement, whenever I pass a requirement, they will definitely ensure that 
you know those you know requirements are incorporated well so i think that's uh, one good thing about bonito okay all right so uh, so in the entire house which is your favorite part uh, <laughs> i think kitchen <laughs> Okay. The yeah, kitchen and balcony is my favorite. Personally, my favorite. Okay. And ma'am, yours? For me, I felt the living area and the dining has come out well because, especially the color combinations, you know, something which we had in mind a bit. Uh, uh, we wanted to give a white background, but at the same time, we wanted some vibrant colors to come out. You know, not plain white. So I think so that has come out very well. Okay. So we have done a mix of white, a brown, dark brown, and a reddish combination. So that's the theme we have tried to follow. Okay. In living, dining, and right. kitchen. Okay. All right. All right. So on on a scale of one to ten, one being say poor and ten being excellent, mm -hmm. where would you rate the overall performance of Bonito? I would always give a uh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So on the overall factor. Oh, bro, definitely. Awesome. And would you also refer us to any of your friends who are interior design? Definitely. We have already started doing that. Okay. That's great. <laughs> People have started coming and asking us who is the interior yeah, right. uh, designer. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, because whoever visited our house, you know, they had a very good opinion about the interiors, and uh, they have started giving a lot of good feedbacks. In fact, I have posted the snaps in Facebook as well. I started receiving a lot of you know, good comments. Uh, so, uh, you know, a lot of people started asking me, you know, okay, which interior company has done it. So that's when you know I started giving you a name. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience, sir. And we wish you a very happy stay in your new house. Thank you so much, and thanks for all your support. And I would like to take this opportunity to personally thank uh, Pooja, uh, Kiran, and the Murli for the wonderful support till date. Thank you so much, and thank you. So this was all about Mr. Nirup's 3 BHK apartment. I hope you like our work here. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to our page and find out what we're doing. And don't forget to put in your feedback or any queries in the comment bar below. Uh, check out squatter.in for our new products. You like them. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye.